done day by day. Another grounds upon which we notify, inform the court to bring back the matter. So the matter was adjourned for hearing today. The court now brought the matter back to here for hearing today. And today the court granted an application. So by running through the diary, the diary, the, the court also demonstrated to us, not only us, to everybody in court, that from this moment to January, that she, she had never will not accommodate this case. Because the court, federal head court, the whole federation is going on vacation on 14th. Uh, but it consequently, he granted this application adjourn to 18th of February. For hearing of the of application challenging the competence of the child and judicial record to hear the matter. Which, if the court hear it, that will be an end to this case. But however, the court proceeded upon our application to resolve those concerns we raised in our press conference a few weeks back about how he's being treated in the prison detention facility, how, she, how he's being tortured psychologically, how she's not being well, he's not being well cared for, and how he hasn't changed his clothes since he was abducted in Kenya on the 6th of June 2020, 21 and brought to Nigeria. So these are concerns we raise, and court granted all of them today. And consequently directed us that first of all the SSS should endeavor to comply with our orders. And the court also assured us that if in the event they ref refuse to uh, comply with any of the orders he met today, that we should come back to court, regardless of the fact that the court is going on vacation. They should allow his medical expert to see him. They should change his cell. They should also give him good food. They should also allow him to change his clothes. So, and so many others court granted today to ensure that between now and the next adjourn date, he's being well cared for. So, that is only that is part of the takeaway, substantial, uh, uh, fundamental takeaway we have from court today. So, and what we are assuring you people today is that we're not, relent we're not relenting. We are craving and seeking for your maximum support in the circumstance. Understanding, listening to our, to our, admonition, our admonitions and also believe that we are not leaving any stone on top to ensure that he's released unconditionally. That was what, what, what I did. So be assured that <laughs> on or before the next adjourn date, he will regain his freedom. I can assure of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. So thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. The God will guide and protect you. Thank you so much. So where is him now? Holy, 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 holy. Nam de Kalo. He's another savior. Holy, holy, holy. Nam de Kalo. He's another So this is the end of the call today, dear friends. You people all, you all heard it from the horse's mouth. Uh, our barrister Stefan Jofo and uh, Aloy Jumako, they are just leaving the court premises now. These are Bia friends. These are Bia friends who have come here in numbers to stand in solidarity to our leader Martin of the Canon. As you can see, they are in their good numbers. Bia friends are in their good numbers.
Ayo, 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 ayo